Hey guys, Paul here. So uh, today I want to talk to you just briefly about catalysts that are used in wood heating appliances. Now, it's, it's winter time right now. We had a warm up, so I stopped running my stove. So I thought this would be a good time to talk about this. Um, maybe some of you out there um, are new to wood heating and you've got a catalyst. Maybe some of you aren't. Um, hopefully you'll maybe pick a few things up from this video, I hope so. Um, the advantage of catalyst is if it's running the way it's supposed to, um, your wood heating appliance will put out a lot less pollution. In fact, if it's running the way it's supposed to, you'll get like no smoke coming out of the top of your chimney stack. Um, the, the big, big advantage of that is that means you're going to have a lot less smoke in your chimney pipe, which means you're going to have less creosote buildup. That's huge. Um, a lot of people have had, you know, fires from creosote buildup on their chimney um, because they didn't, uh, you know, clean their chimney. So that, but that's another, um, that's another YouTube. So the other advantage is the uh, the catalyst um, also means you'll probably burn one third less the amount of wood that a stove that does not have a catalyst would. Um, and of course, um, it means you're you're going to get more heat out of your wood because the gases that would normally travel up the flue are going to be burned off, and so you're going to get more heat from that. So um, you're going to get more heat uh, out of the same amount of wood in a catalyst stove versus a non-catalyst. So the downside of a catalyst is they do have to occasionally be replaced and they've got to be clean and if you're you know you're, you might be wondering well how do I know whether or not it needs to be clean well the classic signs of a catalyst needing to be cleaned is uh, when you go to reload your wood heating appliance and you get the fire built up and then you close the damper the flame inside the the box your firebox will start acting real funky. Um, the flame will start um, like rolling around and it'll just be acting differently than what you normally see. And you'll actually hear like a noise um, and you can even get um, like smoke uh, pu puffing like out of your stove. If that happens, then uh, that's an absolute sign that your catalyst is uh, plugged really bad. So um, this is my stove. All stoves are different. I've got two bolts on each side. I've already removed those. So I'm just gonna take my top off here and we'll take a look at the catalyst in case you've never seen one before. We'll set this aside. Okay, so here's our catalyst right here, okay? There's two kinds of catalysts. There's a uh, ceramic catalyst and then there's steel catalyst. This is a steel catalyst. The ceramic is more fragile, um, so you got to be extra careful when you clean them, uh, but they both do the exact same thing. Um, this steel one is, uh, you know, uh, going to last a little longer than the ceramic. So, um, but it's... If you can see here, um, you know what? Let me let me move. Let's move the camera here. So these things are honeycombed. I'm putting this up the light, and you can see how honeycombed that is. Okay. Well, what'll happen is those all those openings over time uh, using your heating appliance will get plugged up. Okay. And you can use natural light also to see it. And when you actually, what I like to do when I, when I clean it is I like to just set a piece of newspaper down and uh, just clean it over that. But even when you're looking down on it, you'll still be able to see, you know, where it's plugged and where, where it needs cleaning. Now, what I like to do to clean these is I like to just get um, pipe cleaners. You can get these on Amazon or eBay. Uh, <coughs> Or like a, I think I got these at a smoker store. So you need to get yourself uh, a, a packet of these. And 
Well, th this is at least what I use because a pipe cleaner is real soft, it's gentle, and in the case of this steel catalyst, this is coated with iridium, and so you don't want to use anything that's going to, um, when you go to clean it, that's going to scratch it. So all you do is just, if you see an area that's plugged with ash or whatever, then you just push it right down through the opening until it comes out the back here, and just run it back and forth, and and then it's cleaned out. So you just, uh, you know, go through that and clean it real good and put it back in and, uh, you know, you'll be good as new again. So I just wanted to share this with you and uh, it's just something that you do need to be aware of in case you're not. And, uh, you know, if you're good to your stove, your stove will be good to you. And uh, I hope this helps somebody out there and, you uh, you know, if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.